Doubloons in Sea of Thieves have a long history. Doubloons were introduced back in July of 2018, right when Sea of Thieves was still a baby to the world. At first, these things were extremely hard to come by because the only way you could possibly earn them was through commendations. This meant that parts of ship sets like the Wailing Barnacle were only 30 doubloons to purchase. But those were the good old days, and now doubloons are basically worthless. Well, not entirely, they're still used to purchase certain cosmetics, levels from companies, and voyages from Lorena, the Mango Lady. Over the years, many different items were added to the game to help pirates collect doubloons, but with no real reason to use them, most people just have a stockpile. They're a forgotten currency. Until now, of course. Season 9 is bringing a lot of great changes and new features to the game, and one thing the team at Rare finally decided to tackle was this obscurity of doubloons. What was once a sad blue little coin can now finally be restored to its former glory. And when Season 9 begins on March 16th, pirates with a load of doubloons and nothing to use them for will be able to purchase voyages locked to only pirate legends. These voyages can be used to obtain the following. The Skull of Destiny, which is a skull that contains every flame of fate and acts as a ritual skull that's perfect for quickly starting the Ford the Damned. The Legend of Black Powder Voyage, which is for explosives and another voyage which allows you to find cursed chests buried in the sand. The only issue is that these things aren't too cheap by the looks of it. So this leads us to one question. What's the best way for someone to earn doubloons? Today I'll show you two methods that can make you the most profit. And it's also important that you should always be selling these treasures at the Reaper's Hideout once you've reached a Grade 5 Reaper Emissary flag, because this will put a 2.5 times multiplier on your loot. So first, let's break it down by every piece of treasure that can be sold for doubloons instead of gold. First off, there are Ritual Skulls, which have a value of 10 doubloons. Next, we have Rag and Bone Crates, which have a value of 5 doubloons. Ashen Chests, which alone have a value of 5 doubloons. Ashen Keys, which also have a value of 5 doubloons. Ashen Tomes, which have a value of 10 doubloons. And Gifts, which a Humble Gift gives you 5 doubloons, a Generous gives you 10. And they can also unlock commendations if you get another crew to turn them in for you. And finally, Reaper's Chests, which have a base value of 25 doubloons. So with this list, it's clear that the most valuable piece of loot, aside from a Reaper's Chest, is an Ashen Chest. And this is why. An Ashen Chest in Sea Thieves will always contain at least one Ashen Tome, which places their value at a base level of 15 doubloons, or 38 with a grade 5 flag. But it doesn't stop there. An Ashen Chest can also potentially contain a Ritual Skull, a bag of doubloons, which is worth 5 doubloons, or an additional tome. So overall, this means an Ashen Chest can reward anywhere from 38 to 88 doubloons with a Grade 5 Reaper's Flag. So now that we know the ideal treasure is an Ashen Chest, we need to determine the best way to get them. Let's begin with Method 1, which can be very profitable but takes a little bit of patience, preparation, and a large crew. You could always purchase an Ashen Chest Voyage for 50 doubloons, but for that price, you're taking a pretty big risk to potentially lose value, and you still need a key. An Ashen Key Voyage is 99 doubloons, so that's out of the picture. Instead, we'll go to the best place for Ashen Keys, which is fishing on the shores of gold. I'm not kidding, if you didn't know about this little fishing spot, it's a gold mine for pulling up trash instead of fish. So get some friends and get to fishing. If you stand on this set of rocks in particular, fish despawn until you pull up treasure, which can be an Ashen Key. Once you've collected enough, it's time to sail back to the nearest outpost, which will be Galleon's Grave. Have everyone rotate to purchase the Ashen Chest Voyage. This means that you buy one, then your friend, then your other friend, and so on until you've bought enough for the number of keys that you have. Complete the voyage which will always spawn the chest on the outpost you're already at. From there, you can use the keys you fished up on these chests, and then take them back to the hideout to sell. Hypothetically, if you fished up 4 keys and everyone on a galleon rotated to buy a voyage, here are the earnings. To make it simple, let's say every chest sold for 50 doubloons. You spent 50 on your voyage, but so did your friends, so you'll be profiting by 150 doubloons in total. So as you can see, this method has extreme potential. Now method 2 is a little more of a traditional take on earning doubloons, which is completing certain world events. Therefore, we can narrow it down to the world events that give you a minimum of 2 Ashen Chests guaranteed, and those two are Skeleton Forts and Skeleton Fleets. 
The Skeleton Fort will always have one Ashen Chest in its vault, and the notes dropped by the Ashen Guardian on the second to last wave also guarantee a chest. The bad news is that you're only guaranteed one Ashen Key from the Keymaster that spawns, so you have to hope that the Keymaster drops an extra when it's defeated. A Skeleton Fleet, on the other hand, will always drop two chests from the boss ship, and every other Skeleton ship has a chance to drop one as well. The good news about this event is that the boss ship is also guaranteed to drop two Ashen Keys, which means that if you were given the choice, you will always want a Skeleton Fleet over a Skeleton Fort, because this will be the best way to earn doubloons with this method. But keep in mind that there are plenty of other methods to obtain doubloons. One way you could go about it is to skip out on the Ashen Chests entirely and go server hopping for Reaper's Chests instead. Not the most exciting, I know, but it is an option regardless. The only downside about this one is that you won't have a grade 5 flag, so you'll only be earning 25 doubloons per chest. Another is to complete the Plunder Pass. The Plunder Pass is a great way to grind a few extra doubloons in the background. A fully completed one will earn you 120 doubloons. And finally, check your commendations. As I mentioned earlier, when doubloons first released, the only way to get them was to do commendations. Check to see if there are any you haven't finished up and go commendation hunting. So with that all said, that's going to wrap up this guide on the best way to earn doubloons in Sea of Thieves just in time for Season 9. I hope you found this guide helpful and informative, and I wish you all the best of luck in hoarding as many doubloons as you possibly can. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.